I didn't. I did not. Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome to another exciting episode of Insomniac Live. You're really selling it today. <laughs> how's, it go how's it going? Um, I didn't ask you, Doc. Wow, Jack's on Facebook today. That's kind of weird. Jack's not usually on Facebook. Jack's a Twitcher. Mm-hmm. We have community mailbag today, Thomas. Which I will go over shortly. Tom. I'm not going to lie. Pretty disappointed in the Insomniac or the mailbag this week. Oh, no. Yeah. Pretty disappointed in the turnout. You need spicier questions? I need more questions that are not. <laughs> When's the sequel? When's more Ratchet and Clank? Mm -hmm. When's Resistance? You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> we got some, though. We got some good ones. Some of them were pulled from uh, the first post that we put up. So we'll see. Mm. Uh, any game, anyway, if you want to ask questions or have topics for us to discuss put them in our social channels but again we're not going to talk about future games we're not going to talk about who are you waving to the people but I, why, why are you leaning over to wave to the people i was trying to read it there's a glare oh um <clears throat> anyway we're not talking about future games we're not talking about future content for current games that's it period end of story so any other question or topic you want us to talk about um, wow, we have someone from Greece. Hi, Tom. I can't read that name because it's in Greek. Hi, Yeti. Hi, Baggins. Hi, Kian. Are you really going to read everybody off? Where'd Thom, where'd Thom buy that shirt? Uh, Lauren gave it to me, actually. Also, she gave me this shirt. When you know you read something, you're like, oh, that's Greek. Well, really, this name is Greek, and I can't read it, so... Hello from 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 America. Um, guessing well, this movies are out then. What do you mean movies are out? We don't make movies, so we can talk about movies. Are you guys enjoying your new friends on YouTube and Twitter? Oh yes, much better than quite a bit. Actually, I prefer them. New Thank friends you. like Random Llama Live. Hello? Actually, I actually kind of prefer our Facebook friends over. I'm just joking. I like I like all of them. New friends like this isn't even my final form. Hello. Hamski, hello. Talk about your favorite movies. Then ask Gloria. us about our favorite movies, huh? Huh? Christo, hello. There's a Colts fan. Uh-oh. I can't keep this up the whole time. Yeah, so yeah. Eventually people are going to get missed. I'm sorry. No, you should. You should. All right, let's do the mailbag. Are you ready? We need an envelope to open. Mikhail? Mikkel? Can you give me an envelope Michael? real quick? Hello? So I can put these in an envelope Mikhail. and then open it and then pull them back out? Um, no, I can pretend to do that, though. Next week. <laughs> you want me to do that? I'll go do that. No, it's fine. All right. We'll just do it the old way. We'll do it live. Um, did you guys yeah. get the Division 2 beta codes or did YouTube pre order it? Uh, no and no. Okay. First question Thomas smells nice today. That's the weirdest comment I've read all day. I would like for it's you also to stop. The, it's also the falsest comment you've read today. Tops, top hot cell. That's just an attack on my character. With your vast VR experience, any chance you will make a VR game for a PlayStation platform? Do you know the answer to this? I, I, I'm sorry. I missed it. <laughs> the answer or the question? The question. <laughs> I read it right to you. I was reading chat. Oh my gosh. Uh, anyway, we're currently focused on Stormland, which is not for anything other than the Oculus Rift, uh, Oculus Store, and we're currently working with our partners at Oculus Studios, and we have worked with them for, this is our fourth title now. Um, we've learned a lot working with VR and PC, um, but having said that, we are currently not actively developing for any other platform. Currently not actively. Okay. In case you were wondering. Presently, not actively, currently. Currently, not actively. We're not actively developing for any other platform on VR. In the present. Well, that's what actively means. Also currently. 
We are, however, still making more uh, mixed reality content for Magic League One, um, which is not VR. It is mixed reality, which is, there's a big difference between the two. Anyway, so the answer to your question is, we're working on Oculus Rift with Oculus Studios, and we have no active, current, present plans to work on any other kind of platform for VR. I butchered that horribly. It I should fine. I should just read what I wrote because it was much better. I enjoyed it. It was a good time. Uh, what exactly have you learned? That's a, that's a lot from P VR development. VR development is challenging. It's awesome and it's rewarding. And PC VR is amazing. I have another question. Will you make any VR games? This is from a more one two three two one. Now the reason I put that in is because that's just a silly question, and I'm going to move on. <laughs> If you don't know by now, either someone needs to be let go for not doing their job. It's the perfect time for a plug, Tim. I just plugged Stormland. I just talked about our history in VR. Anyway, we've worked on four VR titles and one mixed reality title. So to answer your question, yes. Salt Shaker 5. Hi, Nedzy. What was your favorite part of developing Spider-Man? No hyphen. So I don't know what uh, Spider-Man is, one word. Um, I'm thinking they mean Spider-Man. Probably. Also known as Spider-Man. Uh, my answer is, it's Spider-Man. That's my answer. The question was, what was our favorite part of working on Spider-Man? Yeah. In all seriousness, no, it was, it was cool to work on an IP that was so well-known. Uh, but yet, get to put our own spin on it. So, that was... You know, having the freedom to create the story we wanted to create um, in a universe that is so beloved as Spider-Man with a fan base that is so awesome as Spider-Man. Uh, that's probably my favorite part of working on Spider-Man. My personal favorite part, I came up with the project later, um, but was just seeing people's reactions. The reaction videos, live streams, all that kind of stuff, reading comments from people. Are you all hyped about Apex Legends? We've been playing it. We played it on stream on Monday. When it first came out. Yep. We were playing at lunch today. Um, it's pretty fun. Two more, three more questions. Four more, five more questions. What is... What is... I sounded like a children's song then. Mm -hmm. uh, blah, blue Boss New. Blue Boss New. I think that's how you say it. Will you ever reference the lovely Insomniac Games Discord server in future projects? Uh, we appreciate your feedback, and I'll pass along to the proper teams. I only said that because you're here, and uh -huh. that's support. Uh -huh. uh, Wait, what was? Will we? Will we ever reference Discord, or like our Discord server in future projects? Oh, uh, we have. Well, no, we haven't. Yeah, not ours. Yeah, and the unspoken, we did a fan Discord. Yeah, but we linked to it. We didn't like reference it. Oh, I, yeah. It'd be I, funny to I reference thought... it in the game. I got you. Okay. I would I love to. Who knows what the future holds? Hey, Scarlet Heels is here. Is Spyro a god? Uh, he's a dragon. Pixel butts. We're always asking, answering questions from pixel butts. They've got good questions. Yes. We appreciate your thoughtful questions. Since now, since we now live in primarily digital age, okay. Um, I assume you don't send review discs to review sites anymore. How do you usually handle this? And uh, my answer is you basically answered your own question. Digitally. Boom. Ba -doom. Mostly. Because there are some people who say, I need a disc. And then we say, sorry, here's a code. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think it's almost all digital now. Uh, and, and most of that is handled by our PR partners. Um, most recently, Sony PR um, or PlayStation PR. Um, but, you know, Oculus PR, Microsoft PR, all those. All those people we've worked with um, hand those copies out digitally now now most of the time they have their people they like to work with their review sites they have their influencers but we have a handful of people that we also like to see on the list and we usually suggest those people and um, we're always looking for new influencers and content creators uh, you don't have to be huge but you do have to show that you have an engaged community you have to show that you love what you do that you're producing content and that you actually kind of fit in our brand like we're not going to have 
just yeah. anybody play sure. Ratchet and Clank, right? There's a little bit of vetting that goes on. Yeah. Little... I mean, there are some things that you just can't say and be on brand with some of our games. Yeah. You can't talk about, like, wanting to mass kill people, and then we're going to let you play Spider-Man, a character who doesn't kill people. And then you say, like, thanks for the coffee. You know, like, yeah, uh, exactly. It's uh, weird. It's just weird. I'm sorry. It's weird. All right. Uh, hem, 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 sick, hem, sicky, hem, sicky, sinky. Have you been, have you been in Germany? Greetings from Germany. Hi, Germany. I like this one because the answer is yes. The Frankfurt Airport is crazy. Have you been to Germany? I've never, I've never been outside of North America. Mm. I've been outside of the U.S., but mm. not North America. Mm. Uh, so I've been to Gamescom in Cologne, which was, Cologne's an awesome city. It's cool. I want to go back. Uh, I've been to the Frankfurt Airport multiple times. Technically, I flew into Dusseldorf when I, when I took the train to Cologne. Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf. That was when I lost my, they lost my bags because the flight was delayed. It was, it was a miserable trip. A but what made up for it was the fact that I was in Cologne and, and it was awesome. Um, but the Frankfurt Airport's crazy. They have tons of buses and like... Uh, you don't like most of the flights connecting flights don't land and connect to the the terminal they land you get out on a bus and you gotta take the bus all the way to the terminal it's just crazy I love so, the names of all the cities in Germany not all well, not why because they all sound like delicious sausages Dusseldorf that doesn't sound like delicious sausage Frank Frankfurt 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 Cologne I don't know they're all it's actually Köln Köln no no yeah. it's Köln it's K-O-L-N or H-N I don't know Somebody's getting mad at us. Uh, no, it's here. Hey, they're here. Those are it was all, my question. They're See? all just cool names. I like them. Um, I th no, it's called, in German, it's it's Cologne. Cologne? I think it's Cologne. Cologne? But we call it Cologne. Cologne. Which, Col Kolsch beer is from Cologne. And every place you go to to eat in Cologne has their own Kolsch. Mm. Anyway, it's really good. I like it. I enjoy Der Germany. And I would like to go back and spend more time there outside of the airports. Yeah, I hear Germany is a great place to visit. Um, especially when it's not freezing, which during came to come, it wasn't freezing. But mm. during my trip to, when I went to my trip to Sweden and Poland, it was freezing. <clears throat> All right. That's the next line. All right. Ken Woozle, you didn't answer my question before, but I figured I'd ask it again. I know y'all are big. A little passive aggressive in that question. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, big Spidey fans. So I'm curious what your favorite Spidey comic is, and what are your thoughts on Spider Geddon? To which I say I have not read Spider Geddon. I, I haven't read him either. Um, they look cool, but I've been a little bit hold out on. of uh, comics lately. Here, hold on, let's Pers do this. personally. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't. Um, I haven't read Spider Geddon. I haven't read any. Mo the only modern comic I've read is. Um, Yeah, I haven't read. Hold on, many in no, no, a no. long time. Why am I drawing a blank? Because I read them. I read every one so far. What's your favorite comic, my like story, trade? T hold on. <laughs> this is driving was, me crazy. I was it's, trying to give you an out. This is a super popular comic too, and I've read them all. Uh, is it Saga? Yes. <laughs> How did I know? Because I said super popular. How anyway, did that's I know? the only modern comic I've read. Within the past, I haven't read that, but I hear it's great. It's awesome so far. I mean, it, there's some weird stuff that goes on. Um, anyway, I like how I'm, I have ESPN. But old comics, you know, I don't really remember tons of old comics, but you know, I, I read a lot of Batman ones. I read, um, uh, I read, all, I read the old Gambit ones because I love Gambit. I read. Uh, really good. Oh, you, you probably loved them. Like, well, you, like I, you know, the newer one, yeah. the series that was newer that got canceled after like a year or two. Mm -hmm. I actually kind of enjoyed it. Yeah. It was more, it was different. It just never, you know, when people are like, great comics, they never really bring up Gambit comics. No, so. no. But I also liked, um, I, I forget, I honestly forget the na actual name of the Spider-Man one that I read. It was like, it was like series. Mm. It wasn't just one comic. But mm. I get them all mixed up because, you know, there's so many different names for Spider-Man comics. Mm -hmm. So I apologize, but I forget which one that was. It was mm. the one where, uh, Doc Ock takes over. Oh, Superior? Yeah, but what's the series line? What was the... I think it's Superior Spider-Man. Superior Spider-Man. Yeah. 
No, but it opened up the Spider Verse series. I don't, I don't think it was called I Superior Spider Man. That's called, it's, whatever. Anyway, I have it on my. Here, I'll pull it up. I'm going to Comixology right now. Bring it up. My books. Bring it up. It is Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man. What happened to my pancake question? I'm not done with the questions. Oh, I, I said I was. That is funny that I threw. <laughs> um, it was I, too of course, silly. It crashed. Right? The app crashed. But it's like no real way to answer. It's he didn't want to be wrong. Oh my god! I'm gonna bring the app back up again. <laughs> oh. I it was it. the one after the after Superior Spider-Man. Okay. Doc Ock had already been Spider-Man. It's Peter Parker came back. And then they opened the whole Spider-Verse thing up. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. I think it was just called The Amazing Spider-Man or something like that. Okay. I will check it after this. Good talk. But it wasn't the one where Doc Ock became Spider-Man. It's the one after Peter Parker came back. And, Peter... and his whole life was flipped upside down because mm. Doc Ock had been. It's called The Amazing Spider-Man. I think mm. it is. Let me check. Now I'm going gonna, gonna to check again. Because... Thomas, have you ever been to L.A.? I have not. No. I, the only time I've been on the West Coast was to a wedding in Washington State. That's not true. Just, just that I'll, Oh, yeah, that's not true. You, just, to, you, just, you yeah. just yelled at me the other day. I didn't yell at you. About, you yelled. I did not yell at you. Uh, about yeah, forgetting that trip. Forgetting that trip, and then you just forgot that trip. <laughs> that's funny, because you were just talking about You that. did go to IEM Oakland. Oakland, yes, but not LA. It's all, and it's Amazing Spider-Man. That's what it's called. It started in 2014. Cool. Anyway, so I was right. It wasn't superior. Anyway, what was I saying? I lost track. You got me all worked up. Let's read Kean's question because they ask every single week to read a question. It's something like, oh, do you actually have it? <sighs> yes. Do you uh, like pancakes? <laughs> Who doesn't like pancakes? Get out if you don't. If you say I don't, get out. No, I'm just. I'm gonna write. Ken's question for for next week. If so, right what now. do you put on your pancakes, Thomas? <laughs> this is t <laughs> what do you put on your pancakes? Uh, Go. My mouth. Butter, syrup, done. All right. <laughs> Ken Woozle. I already read that one. We're done. Let's move on. It's game time. I'm writing Ken's question for next week. Hello, Tim. Do you like to be happy? I do. We're playing right. Spyro. <laughs> Let's finish. Oh, I'm I'm looking at the wrong screen. <laughs> The delay was screwing with me. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? Video games. We've already done this level, so let's go back. I love chocolate chip pancakes. I like chocolate chip pancakes. I despise chocolate chip pancakes. What? what? I'd rather just, I don't like chocolate chip pancakes. I'd rather have just pancakes and then put whatever you want on them, which is not chocolate chips. I like straight up pancakes. With like, like banana little... pancakes. And a banana pancake. <laughs> What's that? That's from... No, it's Banana Cognac. It's from uh, yeah, Dave Chappelle. Oh, okay. And a Banana Cognac. Anyway, uh, I thought... <laughs> it's... And then he made us pancakes. Uh, yes. That was, that was the Prince one. Yes. Game. Blouses. Um, strawberry and whipped cream. Pancakes. Oh, mm, That's some good stuff. Okay, so before you get too far into pancakes... Oh, no. Uh, There's no too far with pancakes. I'm gonna leave this level. Oh, I gotta go to the exit. Because we've already beaten this. My why does it? Why after you beat the level, does it make you do all this stuff again? I guess if you didn't leave, it doesn't save it. The state, you know, the level state. Yeah, those devs. Yeah, I know. Ah. I will say, I will say this. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. We made the original games, but I don't care. Sorry, Ted. Uh, there are some annoying things about this game that I wish when they remade it, they like just took them out. Mm. You know, I, I appreciate that they went straight remaking everything, but there's some things that I'm like, eh, you could have probably removed that. Do you want to go far far enough and then point those specific things out? I or? will as they happen. Okay. Who needs yeah. a key when you know Because I, I would be interested. Um, well, Tim is playing for a change, yeah. I pl I've played all the Spyro so far. You've played a lot of it, yeah. The vast majority. Well, yeah, the vast majority. I'm glad you're keeping up, because I have no idea where we are, really. Well, I... Oh, crap. Grab out this guy. You big yak. Lewis, do you like pancakes? See, look, we have to get 11 of these things again. I don't understand. Mm. Did you not save it, Thomas? You were the last person to play. Probably not. No, but look. It's got the hockey. 
So we did the hockey one already. Yeah, and that's and what we I got did. and we got the gold the gold statue. So it should let us go to the next level. Whatever. We'll play it again. It's we'll almost do it live. Pancake Day. National Pancake Day. I prefer I International that. House of Burgers. <laughs> the joke that was horrible that they should have never done. I think it's just they wanted to sell some burgers. Well, I think what happened was they were serious, Even and then they the realized it was kind of dumb, and then they went back, but then they just laid it up like it was out. We weren't serious. No, I think it was just like... I don't know, man. I don't think it was ever a permanent change. Uh, I don't know. I, I think they were just trying to, like, we need to get people in for lunch. When I think of burgers, I think of IHOP. What is wrong with eating pancakes for lunch? That's what I want to know. Why, you, as a as a breakfast place, do you need to have burgers for lunch? No, you don't. You eat pancakes. I eat pancakes for dinner. You know? You got mm. the statue again. I'm not ignored. Blue bait. Blue bass? Blue, blue, that's, yeah, I read one of their questions. Which one was your question again? It's down on the floor, I can't. Tim, calm down, says LL Ron. Um, LL Ron? Mm-hmm. I don't see LL around on there. You're lying. <laughs> um, I eat pancakes for breakfast. All right. Great. <laughs> you eat pieces of pancakes for breakfast? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. I eat. I eat. Well, if you're from Europe, you eat sandwiches for breakfast, which I also think is weird because they're not breakfast sandwiches. They're cold cuts. Is Insomniac, is Insomniac upset that there isn't a controversy with all the animal violence in this game? Yes. I'm horribly upset with it. Talk about it all day long. Mm-hmm. How upset we are. I, yeah, the roasted sheep and the yaks and the, you know, pigs and the fireflies. That guy just got squished. It's like... Whatever he is. It's like how J. Jonah Jameson's like, I need more pics of Spider-Man. We're like, what? we need more... Hurt animals. No, no, we need more outrage from PETA. We need more outrage. Speaking of PETA, when I think PETA, I think of like I think of pancakes, PETA, PETA sandwiches, okay. or like fold or kebabs or whatever you want. Right on. Kebabs if you're from Europe. Hey, the sunglasses. I don't know. It's a cheat code. Someone put it in chat. Had to get the sun sunglasses. Yeah, somebody told us to do it, and we did it. You do eat sandwiches for breakfast. You eat cold cuts for breakfast every time I've been to Europe. On the plane over. And every hotel I've ever stayed in, they for breakfast, I go down for breakfast and there's ham and salami and cheeses and you can get bread and like it's like sandwiches and mustard and mayo and like everything. So maybe you don't necessarily eat it all the time, but at all your hotels and all of your plane rides, you have sandwiches. But you do also serve other things, I will say. I was in Poland and had a nice omelet. I made uh, cookies. The other, the other night, last night, I ate cookies for dinner. <laughs> that's all I wait, ate. What? You ate cookies for dinner? Yeah, that's all I ate. I Thomas, ate, that's, I like eight cookies. That's just not healthy. Yeah. I mean, it's. I don't care if you do it, but like at least have something that has some nutritional value. Did I already go this way? Which way should I go, Chet? Oh, and I drink a Dr Pepper, and that's good for you because it has Doctor in it. <laughs> Chat, did I learn to swim yet? I did. I did learn to swim. Oh yeah, these are the inverted controls. I hate these. I hate these. Which way is the entrance? Is it not here? Chat, where am I going? There it is. There it is. I eat an egg sandwich with cheese and have hash brown and a cookie for dessert. For breakfast? A cookie for breakfast? Alright. Wait a minute. Dessert, dessert, dessert for breakfast? Yeah. That's the weird part. Right. You have dessert with your breakfast? I mean, pancakes are kind of a dessert. Well, so are donuts, but I don't yeah, eat them every day. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I only treat myself when I want to feel fancy. And I like how I'm judging you when I just talked about how I ate a bunch of cookies for my entire dinner. Yeah. I like... Like, I have no self-awareness. Self 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 <laughs> Uh, travel in the direction of sandwich. Yes, exactly. No, I'm not saying I don't like sandwiches. I love sandwiches. I eat them for lunch all the time. I just eat breakfast sandwich. It's gotta be a biscuit or a McMuffin. Not McMuffin. I, I did the McDonald's thing. I'm sorry. 
Um, just a English, English muffin. muffin. There we go. It took me a second too. Oh. Uh, I apologize. I don't really eat at McDonald's, so that it's weird. Those muffins are good though. <laughs> but I like like rig. I like Thomas's English muffins. You know what I'm saying? You Google feel... Thomas's English muffins, Lauren. <laughs> it feels straightened. You really thought I was like an innuendo? The way you like looked at me, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Huh. The nooks and the crannies. That's the best part. I love Thomas's muffins. Those nooks and crannies are the best. It's gonna be a yikes for me. It's gonna be a big yikes. All oh, the butter gets down in there. Mm. It's a yikes. Mm. It's a yikes. Especially with the nooks and crannies. Nice work, Spyro. See, that's not even an innuendo. That's like real. I really love the nooks and crannies of Thomas's English muffins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> Google yeah. Thomas's English muffins, and you'll know exactly what to do. I mean, to, to be yeah. honest, uh, Thomas's English muffins are the best. So, so you do know what those, I'm talking about. Yeah, I do know. I know exactly what you're talking about. As far as those, like, buy at the grocery store muffins. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thomas's makes some amazing muffins. I will say their bagels are leave a little to be desired, but no one said Thomas was good at bagels. Thomas, is that your butter's impression? Um, yes. Your butter's impression? Yeah, like from South Park. Oh. I don't know all the characters of South Park. I know the main ones. I don't know who Butters is. Who's Butters? Um, he's like he's like one of the main characters now. Well, I, haven't, I clearly haven't watched South Park in years. Yeah. I think the last time I actually watched South Park was when the movie came out. He's like a a little guy and it, he just wants butter. Uh, he's he's like real sweet, but his parents always ground him, mm. and uh, he's kind of innocent, and they the kids abuse that. Mm. Abusive kids. Well, Why do people work. invert controls ever? Well, I mean it did make sense for joystick flying and stuff like that, but so um, there's this great uh, like picture about like why inverted controls make sense to some people. And it's basically like, imagine that the head, you have an analog stick sticking out of your head. If you pull down the analog stick on your, that's attached to your head, you would look up. Mm -hmm. and so that's, that's why it makes sense. You, you missed a people. golden opportunity for a joke there. Go ahead. Well, I'm not going to say it now, but you could have made fun of the people who like in controls easily. There's a great picture of them in the insane asylum. Something like that. I don't know. That needs a little work. Great joke, he says. No, I said you Listen, missed, missed an opportunity. I said you missed an says. opportunity. You missed an opportunity. I didn't say you had to use my joke. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. missed one. Mm -hmm. It's a little wet in here. Alright. Look at cool observation day. Look at cool guy Spyro swimming. With the sunglasses on. My screen is black on mixer and I can't hear anything. Uh refresh. Which is the greater faux pas? Wearing sunglasses at night, or swimming with sunglasses on? Swimming. Mm. You can tell how bad I am with the inverted controls. I told you I'd be bad, especially swimming. There's some, some moments where you have to swim really fast in this game, and I am horrible at it because of the inverted controls. My screen is black on Mixer, and I can't hear anything. Is there an echo in here? What? I feel like there's an echo in here. Did somebody say that already? I just read it and I said refresh your browser. Oh. <laughs> Literally just said it. Like, maybe two seconds before you said it. Is there an echo here? Did you really not? Are you just. You just don't listen to me, you. What? Are we streaming? Always play inverted in third person games on both devices. That, see, I'm not gonna like. That, I don't understand how how your brain works with the inverted left-right axis. I, yeah, I don't get that one. I don't get it. I mean, you can explain it. You can try to explain it to me, Alex. Alex I mean, Nitro. I guess it's the same idea with the, like, you attach a stick to the back of your head. But, no, but... If you move the stick to the left, the head would turn to no, the right. No, but you know why the, inver the down, inverted the controls are basically airplane controls. When you pull the, the plane right. 
So that's where it all originated from when we when they first made video games. Sure. So, but there's no airplane controls that go this you know opposite of left right. You know. Is that true? Are you sure? I'm pretty confident when you're flying a plane and you go this like way. In real, like like you adjust the flap and then it'll go like this and then you turn the opposite way. I don't know, man. I think when you go like know. this, you go you bank that way, and when you go like that, you bank that way. Do a barrel roll, you do a barrel roll, you know? You get what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. Do you get what I'm saying about the stick, though, attached to your head? No, I don't. You, you should try. You should go get a stick attached to your head. All right. And let's let's check it out. All right, let's do it. No, no, you have to actually attach uh, it to your head. So, like... No, you have to actually attach it to your head. Look. So... I cannot swim. Imagine this. Oh, no. oh there's sharks there. This is on the way. back of my head. All right? I took this. Thomas, you might have to do the swimming it. section. Oh my goodness. We shouldn't have done a swimming level. That actually totally didn't work out. I just looked really <laughs> stupid. <laughs> so, you just proved your point. <laughs> Yikes. No, I just can't do it in the front of my head. Uh, alrighty then. I play Ember when I'm pl playing a plane in video games, but everything else has to be normal. But this, that's that's how this is. When you fly, it's inverted. But also when you swim, it's inverted, and I hate it. But you, they don't allow you to change it. That's the problem. That's right. To swim? Yeah. I hate it. I just want to feel it. I went the wrong way, by the way. I don't know what I'm doing. Dive with the box. All right, I got this. <laughs> you just went straight to the floor. Yeah, See? It. See what I'm saying? It's awkward. Is it not awkward? I mean... Your brain's telling you I'm not flying right now, so it's like really once you sort of figure it out. But I I hate playing inverted regardless. Yeah, I got it. But I will say I will say I used to play inverted only exclusively. I sort of got it. Okay, right, so you what am just, I doing? just keep playing. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't worry about it. You'll figure it out. Uh, I used to play uh, only inverted, and then during Fuse, I believe when there was no inverted controls in Fuse development, I kind of like had to play it the other way, and. Ever since then, one time I sat down, turned on my PlayStation, and was like, I can't play with these inverted controls anymore. It was a game I was already playing inverted. It was really weird. I think you have to go swim. You have to go down and swim. Can I talk to this guy? No, not yet. Can I be friends? No. I won't be friends. Nope. Can't. He's got a mohawk. Alright, let's read the chat since, since Thomas skipped half of this stuff. Think about shifting the camera. What? Think about you shifting the camera. I, I suppose, because the lens in the camera is the mirror flips the image. So I guess if you're moving the camera right, it's actually moving it left in the camera. But how many people think, that, you know, I don't know. I could see that I guess as to left, right, inverted, because the image is flipped in the camera. So when you move the camera to the right, it's actually moving it to the left in the recording. You know what I'm saying? I don't. That's what I, I think they're trying. That's how they're trying to explain left, right, invert. I still don't get it. Oh, but I either way, I don't. Uh, if you play that way, great. We added it to Spider-Man because we didn't realize it was such a big thing anymore. But it is, so we put it back in, uh, and we apologize for that. I'm a dragon dolphin. Nice game. No, seriously, can you like I don't know. through that tunnel? Oh, I didn't even see that. Just now. Up, down, up. Actually, I have, I'm getting kind of confused where you're at. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm at. You can't breathe fire underwater. Fire doesn't work that way. I'm a dragon. Dragons don't work that way. You get you do get a power up where you can s shoot underwater though. This guy got pinched. Me. So yeah, I've actually never played this game. I've only played the first Spyro. Yeah, but you get it. It's the same thing. You collect like gems. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I'm not saying I don't get it, but. Alright, so this it. is all new to me. <coughs> I missed the old streams. What does that mean, Ken? What does that mean? I miss the old I'm Kanye. Does that mean you don't want me to read your questions anymore on stream, or what? He's got a mohawk. Spyro. He does have a mohawk. Yeah. It's cool guy Spyro. I think you gotta turn around and go the other way down that tunnel. Yeah, I'm getting the gems. And ram that dude. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, and there's gonna be sharks you're gonna have to go past. 
Oh, not yet. You do the submarine first. Okay, go up and you'll get the submarine. I know where you're at now. I know where you're at. Um, the biggest improvement to the remakes I've seen so far is Sheila's kick. It's no longer a long delay between pressing the button and kicking. I really like using the okay. hold the button. There you go. I really like the not only the graphics but the actual just controls feel a little better. Although there are some weird things with hitting certain jumps. It means there used to be less muffin talk back in the day. Scrawny, wow, interesting. I don't know what that means, but I don't want to read it out loud because I'm afraid I'm going to get in trouble. Kyle Smith. The new stream format is still weird for me, but I appreciate you trying new things. What does that mean, though? What what don't you like? What's weird about it? Honestly, it's not that much different. Right, Thomas? We start off, we talk about weird stuff. Then yeah. we, we play a game for a little longer than we used to play a game. Mm -hmm. And that's it. You can't kill those guys until you get the power I'm not up. doing anything. I know. But you'll come back in there and you'll have to kill those guys to get a power up. Well, we'll power I, up. I imagine that people think it's a little odd that we're not on every day is that is that strange to get used to so yeah i don't what's the strange part hello from the uk say something random tv hello it's the two studio streaming on this one day it's fatigue really well but you don't have to watch all three hours that's the whole point of our three hours is that you can jump in and jump out any given hour, 30 minutes, 5 minutes, 1 minute, whatever you want to watch. It's up to you. Watch as much or as little as your heart's desire. There you go, that's the power up. But it runs down. So now you have to go back and get the sharks before that runs out. But you'll use it again for other things. You don't have to do the sharks yet. But you can. You're going back the opposite way. This is the original way you went? Oh, I've, I've gone 360. Oh, yeah, now you're going back wait, in a circle. Wait, is it? No. Yes, no it is. You'll go back up that thing, and then you'll get back to the guy with the submarine. Do I collect this? No, she's a save point. That's oh. the fairy. She saves you. Oh. Saves your game. I see, I see. But actually, if you really want to know where to go, I'll tell you. Go up that little... The turn. Look up. There's a hole in the roof. That's where you need to go. There's a hole in the roof. In me boot? Mm -hmm. No, no, don't. You can't. Down. There you go. You can't get out of the water. You're in a water world. Oh, well, I just want to see it. You're not. You're gonna hit. The, you're gonna stop. Okay. You can't drown, obviously, because dragons breathe underwater. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> what's Burbank planning to get? Man, Scarlet Heels is just jumping from channel to channel and screwing with us. She was on Twitter. She was on Mixer. Now she's on YouTube. She's all over the place. Uh, anyway, Burbank is also playing Spyro, but they're playing the first button. This is... Turn around and get talk to that dude with the gems. I was trying to, but it wouldn't let me. There we go. You gotta do... It's basically two races. The second one's kind of annoying. The first one should be pretty easy. Um, have you played this recently? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you've been playing at home. That's right. I gotta make sure I, I'm up on my... I do research. Hmm. That's... I appreciate how seriously you take the streams. You're supposed to be controlling. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you're running out of time, by the way. Yeah. There's no time. You just missed Pretty the well ride, right. huh? Okay. Turn right. There you go. Oh! That was shenanigans. What's your favorite Spyro game? Uh. I don't know. I have to replay them all again and tell you. I haven't gone through three. Pretty wild, right? okay. I appreciate the simplicity of one, but I like the the more depth we started adding around two. You missed it. I got it. You can't go backwards through it. I got it. Oh shoot! Whoa! Oh. The next one's harder, by the way. Just because there's more turns like that. Well done. I suppose you guys kind of know the angle. For that. Yeah. Here, take this. Uh, I found it. Anyway, um, I don't know. I don't know. I'll answer that after we're uh, done with all these questions. I'd love to... 
Pay attention, Tom. Tim, okay. I mean Tom. Dang it. What? Pay attention to what? You weren't paying attention when you were swimming, swimming through it. You are now. Please add that suit to that game. Um, we have nothing to announce with regards to Spider-Man okay. at this time. I prefer the progression of Spider-Man 2. Or Spider-Man 2. Spyro 2. And that you can't get everything in the levels the first time. That's very uh, Metroidvania. Not Metroidvania. More Metroid. Okay. I don't understand how I'm supposed to know the order of this. You follow this. The, the oh, the C. Yeah. Oh. But watch, he'll he'll get ahead of you here, and you'll have to turn, and you'll lose him. See? You kind of lose him at that point. Yeah. You'll get him again. Just keep going down, down below. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah, get him, Tom. There you go. There you go. Hey, keep going up. Like your voice. He needs to get higher. Now lower. Get lower. Incredible. Um, You've got real talent. I could use a partner like you. Where was he working at before Insomniac? Who? Oh, you I, got a question for me. Yeah, where were you working at before Insomniac? Uh Man, what was Oh uh I don't know. What was the job I had immediately before here? I think I was at a restaurant. But it was there was a I I had a gap in my, my history where I wasn't uh I didn't handle the job for a little bit. A gap in my history. It's not really a my gap in your history. My work history. Your work history. Um, yeah, so I was working as a waiter for a while, and then that place shut down, and then uh, and then I like got really good at this one game and did a bunch of testing for it and stuff. And uh, got to know the devs there, and then I... Use that for like references and stuff. You got, you got to talk to the, ended the up mayor. Here. To who? The, the mayor? mayor? Yeah, you'll find him. Just keep swimming around those buildings. The mayor? Yeah, the mayor of the underwater town. There he is. That's okay. That's clearly a mayor. Well, turn. You're looking at his backside. See, so watch. Now he looks exactly like a mayor. He's a king. That's why. Mm. Fooled you. I like his heart nose. Today is my birthday. Happy birthday, JB Legend 52. Happy, happy birthday. You can make it to so now you need to break through those doors. Uh, not break through the doors. They open the doors and you gotta go up and save the little... His, his kids. Every time you Remember all those numbered tower, towers you passed? You can make it kind of. The mayor's in Metro Speedway. There's also a mayor in... Um, another level. Oh, so we gotta do like one at a time? Yeah, you gotta do one and then two. Then three, then four, uh, five, and then six. Don't patronize me. <laughs> Watch out! Oh, uh, you got him. Good man. I don't know how to yeah, these are, It's funny the difficulty on these. It was like four stars or something. These are not difficult at all. The most difficult parts learn how to swim. Damn, Thomas went from a restaurant to a live streamer. How do you feel? How do you feel about that? I love how stream. they just low up, low up, blow up the doors for you. Kind of extreme. Yeah, I know. Boom! And where do they get the explosives underwater? What's your favorite developer, Ken? Who's your favorite? I'm the one asking the questions now. Developer. Thomas was looking at the king's rear end. LOL. Mm -hmm. I love how you just will... I feel like that comment just got duplicated. Hello, Joel. Leon. Joel Leon? No, just Joel Leon. Joel Space. Ah. Uh, the rest of them are not in this area, Thomas. You have to go back now. Oh, I see. Insomniac and Santa Monica. Well, that's convenient. But those are your two favorite. You don't need that right now. Alright, but I got it. I know. Three. Down. You missed it. Where? Turn around. Right there. To your left. To your left. That's your left. No, no your left. I understand. There it is. Oh, okay. What the heck? There's like someone pushing me. There's someone pushing you? I think it's just the wonky swimming controls. I'm telling you. Mm. Okay. Um, 
how did you come up with the name Insomniac for a game company? So we were originally going to be called Extreme Software. Uh, and then turns out there already was an Extreme Software. So we needed to come up with a new name, and I believe it was Brian Hastings, one of our founders, who suggested Insomniac, or something like that. Ted will be able to tell you better. Hmm. And there was another, there was two names that they wanted, Insomniac, and there was another one. Ah, uh, crap, I wish I remembered what it was. It was kind of funny. I'm kind of glad we weren't that one. Yeah, it was something like, kind of, like 90s. Well, Extreme Software was too, totally right. nice. Well, yeah, something like but that. But there was another one that was like... Someone might know because he said it in Extreme Software sounds terrible. No offense, no offense taken. Yeah, well, it was spelled X Stream, not E X, by the way. Uh, my favorite game dev, maybe Media Molecule. They follow me on Twitter. Is that a hint? Are you trying to give out hints? Uh, Arcane Studios. Hold on, there was another question I was going to read. I might have lost me, it. Guess you gave me a shell for no reason. When designing, when designing Spyro to last infinity underwater, what is your thought process? I don't know, because I wasn't around for Spyro. Um, so I I'll, I'll ask Ted and Brian Hastings and those guys. I think we beat the level? Yeah, you can go on. Uh, this, we didn't 100% it, obviously. We can come back. What we'll do is we'll beat every level, and then we'll come back and try to 100%. So you know something um, that I'm not a huge fan of that I'm just now noticing with this title uh, is... The camera controls, it always orientates back to like. Turn up, it's an adaptive thing, you can turn it off. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. I, I think I did at home, I don't think we did on the stream. Uh, if you. Where was I before Insomniac? I was, um. I was at a company that we did creative services. I, I made websites. I was a web developer. Media, multimedia developer, because I also made kiosks and uh, DVDs and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, I was a multimedia developer for a, for a company, creative services firm. I worked for clients like Royal Caribbean, Indiana Pacers, uh, Eli Lilly and Company. This feels way better. There was a bunch of um, bunch of clients. Bahamas, we did the Bahamas Weather Conference. That was fun. I got to go to the Bahamas. Um, Royal Caribbean was fun because I got to go on the new ship. Uh, back in the day, it was Oasis of the Seas. And it was, at the time, the largest cruise ship in the world. And it had a central park down the middle where they had the trees and everything. Now that's like all their ships have that kind of stuff. But it was the first time they did that, and I got to do the maiden voyage. And that was cool. Hi, Spyro. This talisman door will only open if you have all six summer forests. Okay. Will there be a Sunset Overdrive 2? To be determined. Who knows what the future holds? A bit like what Corey was doing. Corey was working for Sony Pictures or something. I think he was working for Sony Pictures. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, but yeah, I guess I similar. I had multiple clients. I think Corey only worked for Sony Pictures. I mean, he might have done that before Sony Pictures. But yeah, my, my job was we just had a ton of different clients. So I was like making like new websites every three weeks. Which was, I got to the point where I was like, I'm sick of working on, that's the race if you want to do, a, that's a flying level. I mean, if you want to do a flying level. Nah. Um, I think the next one up here, you have to hit that button. Yeah, you, know, you have to fly, go back, hit the button, and then fly out the window and around. Now fly out that window and around into the other window. I see. Oh, you know, if you're getting to a ledge... Hit your triangle button and you'll hover up in the air real quick. Mm. And you'll get to that ledge. Mm. Is that a new mechanic for this game that wasn't in the first game? I believe so, yeah. Uh, there's a person named Joel in, in Resident Evil? Question mark? I don't know. Is there? See? There you go, Thomas. You've mastered it. I did it. Um. There is a level with, like, the electric people. Where is the electric people level? Oh, right there. Is no, it? that's what we just did. Go back out the door. I think it's out that way. Out this it's not that one. It's got to be this it's out one. out that door, yeah. But I don't think there's any other direction to go. Yeah, but there is. There is. I'll show you. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah. It's right there. 
That one. Hurricane. Hur Hurricos. This one, I will say the annoying thing about this level is one of the side missions you have to do is chase these electric guys around and knock them over. And you have to do it like eight times. And it's like there's only two of them and they do the same loop. So you got to go to this guy, go to this guy, go back to this guy, go back to the... It's mm. like, come on. It's a little repetitive. Come on, Ted. The future better hold Sunset Overdrive 2. Well, you know... Is Spider-Man 2 confirmed? No. Where, where has it ever been confirmed? Every time I play Ripto's Rage, I get overwhelmed by the items to collect. Yeah, I, I agree. I feel like... Again, remember we were talking about that certain things they could have changed? Is some of the collection in this game to, to do the 100% feels a little like they could have tweaked it and made it a little years, more modern. Mm. Um, like what? what? You'll, you'll see diodes, when you just you do this level. I mean, it sounds like what you described with the tornadoes. Yeah, there. exactly. Somewhere. Well, they're not tornadoes. They're two guys that run around. Oh, okay. But they have the exact same paths and it's just very repetitive to just collect eight, yeah, I think it's eight things. Maybe it's 12 things. Uh, you gotta get the note, the electro node on the ground, right there, and then put it in the thing, or we'll fall in the water and die. That's good. Um, that's my uh, speed running strap. Will so I ever be set. featured on Fan Art Friday? I featured you, you on Mailbag Wednesday, so maybe. Ratchet JRPG prequel for PS VR confirmed. In El Evan Falarka's video, Evan Falarka. Confirmed Spider-Man 2, huh? Evan Flogger doesn't work for Insomniac, so... Hmm. Hmm. We, hmm. we, we love him, don't, don't get me wrong, but... He doesn't work for Insomniac, so... We've, we've, we've not announced anything related to Spider-Man beyond what is already out there, which is our City Night Over Sleeps DLC. Actually, the last thing we announced about Spider-Man was that the Future Foundation and Bagman suits are in the game. I got squid. Hey, yo, yo. What did you clip? What did you clip? Same phone, who dis? I love clips because they can take them all out of context. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, it's like, uh, did I ever tell you the story about when we used to have forums? Uh, I'm trying to remember what game it was. I, I, it might have been. It's probably Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, it might have been Ratchet and Clank, Nexus or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. It was an older ne Ratchet game, and somebody there was a news article that somebody tweeted, and I was like, the headline said something about me confirming something or saying something, and I read the news article. Not only was it not true, but they made it seem like they interviewed me. But all they really did was go through random forum posts and pull comments that I posted in our forums, in our official forums, from random different threads. So it wasn't even all about the same topic. I mean, it might have all been about Ratchet or something, but they weren't about the exact same topic. Oh, oh, triangle. Yeah, I forgot. Um, anyway, so I, 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 I called the dude out, mm -hmm. and they apologized. I'm like... First of all, you're wrong. Second of all, but I did. It's, it's I did. It's like a weird. Like, how do you not realize you're doing that? I did. It sounded like you interviewed me, but I, you didn't. You just pulled from the forum, and they were all out of context. Anyway, I forget what it was about, but I'm sure you can still find it because the internet. Because the internet. Yes, that's the, my answer to everything. It's also a good album. That you for not being Rockstar Games. That you. You mean thank you for not being Rockstar Games and actually interacting with the community. I think Rockstar Games. Don't they? I don't know. Maybe they don't. Spyro with shades. Deal with it meme. Yes. I, it, the funny thing is we, we turned it on and... We don't know how to turn it off. In the first game. We don't have to turn it off yet. Somebody help. Um, <laughs> but it kept it for the second game. So it's like a game-wide thing, which is cool. Whoa, that guy pinched me. Dang, cool. What do you think of Shaggy possibly being in Mortal Kombat 11? Um, I need to brush up on my sis Shaggy lore. That's what I think. Really? Yeah. You know what I have to say to that, Thomas? What? Rut row. 
<laughs> that was a good Scooby Doo. That was a good Scooby Doo. Uh, I don't have an opinion. I think it's a little weird, personally. I don't think it fits in Mortal Kombat, but you know, whatever. I think it's a meme. I think it's a. It might actually happen because they're crazy like that in the greatest way. Hey, are, um, are you lost? Yeah. Go to that door with the electric things. There should already. You should have two of those notes. Oh, that's all I had to do. <laughs> oh, okay. I just noticed you were running around in circles. Um, the Insomniac from Star Wars Fan 24-7. We should try the low poly cheat. Yeah. Give it to us. We'll do do it. you think we'll get an episode 9 title this week? I don't know. I, I don't like the low poly cheat, though. What's, what's How do we undo it, though? Because I, I don't want to play the whole way in low poly. If I wanted to do that, we would just play the original Spyro. You probably just enter again. Oh no! Well, no, we'll do it now. But I just want to undo it. Um, yeah, give us the uh, the the low poly cheat and then how to undo it. Thomas, do you think we'll get an episode nine title? We should do that segment since we're playing Spyro and it's Wednesday. We should do Sean's segment where we confirm all rumors not related to Insomnia Games. Okay. So yes, episode nine. The episode nine titles coming this week. Confirmed. Directed by. Well, we know who's directed by. Francis, Adrian. Francis Ford Coppola. J.J. Abrams. You gotta do a super uh, smash to get that. Oh, that's a thing? Yeah. You gotta go through the power-up to get a super speed to land that thing right there. Oh. Yeah. But you don't have 18 kills yet. Oh. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, yeah. oh. Uh, actually, Taylor, the community guy from NetherRealm, confirmed he won't get in. Well, we are now confirming that Shaggy will be in Mortal Kombat 11 uh, Sunday. What was the thing? Was it Sunday or tomorrow? No, Tuesday. 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 You know, everything happens on Tuesday. Tuesday. Next Tuesday, Shaggy will be in Mortal Kombat 11. Confirmed. Um, uh, Sean does this better, but it's still funny. Scrappy Doo is the final boss. No, no, it's only things they ask us. Oh, okay. We can't just make stuff up, Thomas. That's fake news. Oh, my goodness. Which confirms the life's left. Which confirms the life lesson stay away from Twitter. The title wasn't real. Oh, Yoda's Bar Mitzvah? Confirmed. That is the title of episode 9. It's coming Tuesday. Yoda's Bar Mitzvah. To IMAX theaters. Whoa, whoa. Will Spyro, will Spyro come into PC? Tuesday. Ah, That's John, John did say that, remember? Me. When someone asked about Spyro. <laughs> <laughs> what about the DuckTales MMO? The problem with that one is people do think we actually made Spyro. So no, I'm, con I'm confirming now. This is the one you have to do. Wait, but we watch. We spit. The no, you pick it up, spit it at the guy. But you'll have to do this like 11 times. He runs the same pattern every time. See? 10 times. Now you have to go to the other side and do the same thing to the other guy. And then come back over here and this guy will respawn. I'm telling you. This is like the stuff that should have been updated. No, no, just wa watch his pattern. Always get him when he's running at you. It's easier. Turn around. He'll come right this way. See? And then you'll do the other thing the other side. You see what I'm saying now? Yeah, I get you. A little tedious. A little tedious. That's not too bad, because, though, because it's so close together. No, it's just a little... It, that's what I'm saying, though. It's a little, like, kind of mindless. I, I wish they... Yeah. We would have done something a little different. He's, he's not the no, they, Yeah, it takes a second sometimes. Every once in a while, he won't spawn, and you'll have to go back to the other side. No. The counter will click over if you hit him. What nope, the? you missed him. Remember, spit it with the circle. Yeah, keep forgetting hit circle. Kian obviously doesn't know how to play the game, because Kian said Spider-Man 2 PS5 confirmed. And, as I said, we don't confirm anything related to Insomniac. You just got clipped. Probably, but whatever. How does it feel to play the new version of a game you made? It feels awesome, actually. I've said it, I prefer this version. But I didn't actually make the original Spyro. I wasn't here that long ago. Um, but I do prefer this over the original Spyro, for sure. Mainly because the modern modern controls, the semi-modern controls. Oh, I can just run into him? What's the image Billy posted? Oh. We should disallow links in our Twitch, because I can't read them. We should ban Billy. Who who can I pay to convince Insomniac to somehow get the rights to make Sly Cooper Trilogy? 
Probably nobody, because that's probably not gonna happen. We don't, like... I'll say it. I feel like I... Someone should clip this so I don't have to say it again. We... We don't normally make other people's IP. The only reason we... We decided to work with Marvel is because, A, it's Marvel. It's awesome. And... Uh, we wanted, we asked about making Spider-Man, they said yes, and who can turn on Spider-Man? Plus it fits within our universe. That's the only time we've ever not worked. Your, not our universe. That's the only time we've worked on someone else's IP. Right. Or, let me rephrase. That's the only time we've worked on an IP that we didn't create. Right. Because, of course, like we don't Spyro, we don't Spyro. own Spyro, we don't own Ratchet, but we did create them. Um, so, to say, would you work on Sly? No. We would have no reason to. They have developers already. They already make just because no longer confirming that there's new Sly coming out doesn't mean... Uh, or same with Jack and Daxter, right? Like, why would we ever do it when Sony has so many other people that can do it? Is it safe to say we would rather work on something new yes. than that? Yes. That's 100% safe to say. Um, Spider-Man was very special. And, there, you know, I, will we work on another person's IP in the future? Well, possibly. But it would be an IP that we actually can do our own new thing. Spider-Man, we got to create our own universe with our own new story. It wasn't like, hey, make a movie Spider-Man game, right? We wouldn't do that. That wouldn't be anything we do. That's not how Insomniac makes games. I feel like that was a long-winded answer to a question that wasn't really a question. No company should be treated that way. I'm sorry the way that the fans reacted to the death threats and the stuff about the suit. Yeah, I mean, you it is... You take it in stride? It's, it is what it is. It's, it's called passion. We appreciate the passion. It's the byproduct of a lot of people really, really liking the game. So, Yeah. yeah. If if nobody bought the game and everyone hated it, we wouldn't have had those problems. Like, the, the worst thing than um, people being upset is people saying nothing. That's, that's the worst case scenario. Yeah, it's crickets. Crickets yeah. are worse than death threats. There, I said it. How about a movie about Tim and Thomas and a road trip to find the last pancake? If, First of all, if we're going to the last pancake, I'm not taking Thomas. I'm just going to eat it myself. The YouTube chat is actually tame and, dare I say, civilized. It's nice to, It's nice of you to say Star Wars fans. Well, you know, Remaster Resistance isn't in the YouTube chat, so maybe that's for a reason. Would you be willing to work on a new Ratchet and Clank? That's a load question, huh? I'm personally glad that we got the web suit. Well, you know. Yeah. We also realized that, you know. Are you not, are you still trying to find one more guy? Yeah, I don't know what happened to him. Go back to the other side and see I, if he responds. I did. Oh, no, no, you, you, you're done with that. Now you have to put him back. You have to put him back in the little pedestal things. You have to put all the little globes back. Oh my gosh. Yeah, spit. So, there you go. I'm not into that. He said that, but you probably didn't hear him. I'm telling you, it's tedious. <laughs> I told you. This mission is one of the ones where you asked for an example, and I just gave it to you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm personally glad... Oh, I already read that one. You guys would make an awesome space cowboy game. Hmm. That would be kind of cool. Space cowboy... Is that a song? <laughs> like a... No. Isn't Space Cowboy a song? Maybe. Uh, I know I know the Cowboys from Hell is a I'm song. I'm riding on space in a cowboy hat. I feel like it's a, a song. Space Cow... It's a, it's a film. Black space Hill. Cowboy lyrics. I just keep thinking of Rhinestone Cowboy. Oh, that's what I was thinking of. Is that what you were thinking of? Yeah, yeah Space that's... Cowboy. Like a Rhinestone Cowboy. Hold on, cowboy. By, by Casey Musgraves. You look out the window while I look at you, saying I don't know. Would be like saying that the sky ain't blue, and boots. This sounds like a country song, and boots weren't made for sitting by the door. Well, what clued you in? Was it cowboy? You, no. Well, space cowboy doesn't sound country to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Since you don't want to say, stay, I mean, Casey Musgraves might be, but the the boots sitting outside your door gave it away. You have, you can have your space, comma cowboy. So it's not even space cowboy. That's a terrible name for a song, Casey Musgraves. Aww. I love you, Casey Musgraves. Don't don't listen to Tim. This is what Billy posted. Laugh my a off. Star Wars nine Yoda's bar mitzvah. 
Oh. But we talked about that. What's... Did you already do them all? Yeah. Are now you sure? This happened? Yeah. You're and good. now what? It started up the, the generators, didn't it? But I'm not going to talk to this? Oh. No, no, you're done. You, you start. You fired everything up. This Pikmin? So now the thing should be spinning. Right? Did, did it show the windmill spinning? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I think so. So now you have to go jump on the windmill things. Or the... This guy looks like a Pikmin. Are you playing this on PS4 Pro? No, we are not. Uh, Burbank will be, because they have a Pro, because they're better than us. Speak for yourself. Well, who did the Crash Remastered Trilogy? I, I don't know. Who did that? Do you know? The Crash Remastered Trilogy? Yeah. I don't know. It wasn't Toys for Bob, was it? No. No, I don't It was, uh... I don't know. Hey, the Spyro fans is here. Hello, Spyro time. Vicarious Visions, there you go. Thank you, Eco Eclipse. What else have they done? Uh, they done some Vision? crazy good stuff. If I recall. Yeah, they were, did. They did. Um, uh, I just can't place the name. I know they're familiar. I played their games. They did. Well, they worked on Destiny, didn't they? Did they? They helped with Destiny. Games developed. They did V8. Oh, that's the Game Boy Color. They do a lot of ports. Vigilante they, 8? No, they did the Game Boy Color port. Though. They worked on 2000 Spider-Man. Mm. SpongeBob SquarePants. Tony Hawk for the Game Boy Advance. They oh. did, yeah, they've done a ton of ports. Uh, recently, they've done... My God, they've done a lot of games. Destiny 2, they helped with. They did the PC. They helped with the PC port. Mm. Uh, Crash, Skylanders, bunch of Skylanders, tons of Skylanders. I was probably thinking of Spider-Man. No, I think you were thinking of the Destiny 2 PC port. Maybe. What did you guys think of the Super Bowl? I it, thought it was kind of boring. I was, um... But Thomas doesn't really watch football, so... I was proud to be part of history, because I didn't watch it. How's that part history? It was the lowest rate Super Bowl like in oh. 20 years. That's because the Rams didn't deserve to be there. Oh. Oh! Uh. Um. <clears throat> what was I going to say? I The most fascinating part of the Super Bowl was after they won. You probably didn't see it because you didn't watch. Mm -hmm. uh, what, the sideline reporter for the for um, CBS was trying to interview. She was trying to interview Tom Brady in the middle of the field. And all these reporters were swarming him, right? And she's standing there, and then Tom kept hugging. He kept hugging, like, more people that came up to him, and players and coaches. And and the whole time, she's just getting smashed and trampled by these reporters. And she's got, like, bodyguards trying to help her out. She's got the microphone turned on the whole time, and you hear what everyone's saying. Mm -hmm. And you hear, like, people like, back up, give some room, back up. And, like, it went. It was the most uncomfortable, like, 15 minutes of live television I've ever seen. Because I'm like, why wouldn't they cut away from this? Mm. Finally, you hear her saying, like, I got him. I got, like, yelling at the other reporters that just, like, she's, like, got exclusive to his interview. And, like, oh, man. It's, like, I'm surprised she, she, she survived. And finally she did the interview. But I'm, like, they didn't cut away the whole time. And I'm, like, this is the most exciting part of the whole Super Bowl. It wasn't a very exciting game. Defense. But it was. I, I enjoyed defensive battles. It just wasn't exciting. Like, there was some cool stuff, chess match stuff that happened. That's the only. But, that's, that's the most compelling part of this game, is like the chess match. Like yeah, that's and, the thinking part of it. And there was some interesting chess match stuff if you know football right. that happened. However, both offenses kind of sucked. Mm. So it wasn't just straight good defense. It'd be different if it was just straight good defense. Does Brady have ten rings now? Six. Six. He's been to uh, nine Super Bowls. Oh, okay. Or ten now or nine. No, he's been to nine. Okay. The Patriots have been to eleven, total, but two of them were before Brady got there. He's been to nine in, I think, seventeen years, sixteen years, something like that. And of those sixteen years, thirteen of them he went to the championship game. The, anyway, whatever. I'm not Tom Brady talk. So I, what I'm does not this a big mean? Patriots fan. What is that? That means you already completed that and got the idol. We have to collect all the idols. So I should do this one. Yes. Anyway, back to chat. Do you think the Jedi Fallen Order will be canceled by EA because it's... I, last I heard, 
uh, I read it yesterday, I think it was, that they confirmed that it's still coming this year mm -hmm. in their investment call or something. It seems like it's pretty far along for that to happen. I mean, I'm not saying it won't be canceled. It, I, all I'm saying is it's coming Tuesday. I, I, That's all I'm saying. In, I would be very surprised. Very, very surprised. I played Spider-Man on PS4. OG. I bought it on Pro yesterday, and it's unbelievable in 4K. Well, thank you. Thank you, JC141. <laughs> it is it is really good. Um, <laughs> I'm going to make these kids cry. Oh, wait. Oh. you got to actually, like, make the big old tortoise. I'll make them cry. Wait. Breathe fire on them. Uh, roast them. Roasted. And boom. then you say, boom, roasted. Boom, roasted. Yeah, no, seriously, you get the roast turtle butt. Guys, Not that guy. It's a good thing you're big, here. fat These tortoise. These turtles are super Shepard cute. Pizza time, says Star Wars 247. Mmm, pizza, says Scarlet Hills. The Spyro fan said, Pizza Parker. Pizza, I... pizza. Hold on a second. Yo, what's up, everyone? Hold on. What? Are those giant eyebrows on that turtle? Yes. That's... But of course. You should hear his voice. That's intense. And they float? Uh, he needs to smoke a bubble pipe, doesn't he? Doesn't he look like he smokes a bubble pipe? That's a little Alice and he, and he chuckles. In a British accent. No offense. What do you guys think about upcoming Anthem game? Um, says actor J. Rose. Uh, what do I think about it? I don't know. Thomas played the beta. He's intrigued by it. What, Anthem? Yeah. Yeah. You, you thought it was really fun, but you're, you're cautiously optimistic about the end game content. I have to see the end. I, I'm holding judgment until I see, reserving judgment until I see the end game content and what the end game cycle is. Because so, I was burned by by Destiny 2. I'll admit, I, I really, um, and I'll also admit I haven't gone back to it since they updated the game. So, yeah, I'm cautiously optimistic for it. I'm, I'm probably going to get it and I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, like, not every game, if, if the end game isn't good, not every game needs to be a take over your life type of video game. No, um, I'm you're so, right. But then, the, but then, so, the, but then the story campaign needs to be good. Correct. Yeah. Um, and it's Bioware, so hopefully that is good. Um, what are you trying to do? I don't know. Exploring. Are you exploring? Exploring. Um, so, yeah, I think um, I think it's going to be good, man. It, it was really fun to play. And I think with Destiny, I was really not into Destiny. Um, the reason why I wasn't into Destiny is because I've played that, like, super solid mechanical shooter game before, multiple times. Um, so that didn't really compel me that much about Destiny. And the other parts of Destiny, I didn't really enjoy. Um, if Anthem is like that, well, I haven't played this mecha flying game ever before. Um, so that part alone has me interested. If the like MMO pseudo MMO RPG progression stuff if that turns out being bad, I'm fine with it because the flying mech stuff felt so awesome. I I'm I don't dis discredit your I'm just saying you, you really can't play and talk at the same time, can you? No I can. <laughs> You're just jumping around on a rock and get play the game! Oh my goodness. I appreciate your thoughts on the anthem, though. But it was funny watching you jump over that same rock four times. I was trying to figure out what I was supposed to do with that turtle. You, 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 you smoke his butt. I know, but then he moved and then didn't you go. You gotta anywhere. point him in the direction you want him to go. How do I point Which him? Which is, you gotta get him in the butt from the direction that you want him to go. You know what I'm saying? It's simple. It's simple. Someone probably clipped that. Hey, did you guys think playing Spyro now and how well remastered it was? How do you, you hold on. Let's let's rewind that. Hold on. Hello, welcome to Insomniac Live. How you guys think playing Spyro now and how well remastered it was. I get what you're saying. I like it. I think they did a great job. Toys for Bob did awesome. Um that's I prefer playing this. Is 
Someone, someone's trying to ask some loaded questions that I'm not going to answer. So I'm going to skip that one. And move along. A lot of Bioware talk in the chat. Hello, Swordman YouTube. I'm guessing that means YouTube. I agree, Star Wars fan. Says Devin, the retro gamer. But I... No, it's cool. It's not your broken English that I was confused by. I just couldn't read properly. But anyway, I prefer playing this over the original just because it's basically the same game. It's just slightly more modern controls and it just looks great. They did an awesome job. You know where to get the tortoise now? In the face. Oh, see? You turned him around. That was your problem. No, I'm trying to... He won't go in the water. I'm trying to see if he would. This was my first Spyro game. Awesome. This one? Like the remastered? The reignited? No, what are you doing, Jordan? You gotta you gotta keep him going. No no. Not yeah, there you go. You gotta time it right. Oh, see? See, you got it. You got it. Oh, see, you got it. It's funny how he just happened. No. It's fine. He doesn't go back. Hello, young one. Comfortable game. Hi, says La Doctor Turtle. Speaking of turtles, you can't climb it. You have to learn that ability. This that's like the Metroid stuff that you have to like come back. It, we kind of did it in Ratchet too. Um, I I love that. Stuff. Not Ratchet too, but like Ratchet also. Mm -hmm. But this was the first game where we started adding more depth like that. Mm -hmm. So we got about 12 more minutes before Burbank comes on. 11 more minutes before Burbank comes on. Have you played Tit uh, Apex Legends? That's why the people made Titanfall. We have. We yes. played it on the last stream. And we actually played it at lunch. And it's fun. And I played it at home last night. Don't be sorry for asking. I'm just telling you I can't. Uh, here's the problem with questions like the one you asked. Uh, no matter what I say, people are going to take it out of context. And either think I confirmed something, or think I denied something. And either of those situations is bad, so I'm just not going to answer. Are we allowed to say what part of the development team we were in while, while making Spider-Man PS4? We, we were both on the marketing team. Well, but it was a long game. Yeah, I wasn't on the marketing team for the entire development. Thomas was actually on... Unspoken originally, right? Was your first game? Yeah, in QA department. And at that point, we were also making Spider-Man. Yes. Uh, I've been on I've been on the community marketing team since I got hired. So I've been on nine years. Nine, this is my ninth year. Yes, this is my ninth year. And uh, I've been on community marketing for every game. So you know, website, social media, events. Are you enjoy. Uh, Okay, I won't change. Um, support until Thomas was around. I was doing support. And a lot of other things. Tons of other things. Being like a liaison between community feedback and the developer. That was That's another big part of what I do. So. That, you liaisons? What? No. I think you have to get... I don't think we have enough gems to go to the next world yet. Do we? Hip, go to the guidebook. I love that animation. When he's on the edge. Oh, go in there. Go in the water. Is he on the edge of... Push me to the edge. Did we do all... The... Oh, we got to do the speedway, I think. That's... Dolphin. Oh, 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 you've done that one. Go to the guidebook. Hit pause. So we got two... We only have nine total. How many do you need to go to the next world? I have no idea. Where do you see Chad, that? how many do you need to go to the next world? Well, I think you can talk to that... Um... Tiger lady? Tiger. Yes, you can talk to Tiger lady. Ooh, look what you did to that frog, Tom. That frog killed my family. You how many... How, what are we missing? How many more do we need? You're gonna have to eat on a triangle. Oh, see? I did it. I did the triangle. Go ahead. I love the original Spyro games too. 
Why do you keep asking that, Kian? What did you ask? The oh, because the inside joke is that I'm leaving for Naughty Dog for some reason. I don't know who came up with that. Uh, are you excited for Far Cry New Dawn? Um, See, I, hit triangle. I think I probably would have been more excited had I not finished Far Cry Five. <laughs> I know that sounds bad. I didn't dislike the game. I really like the mechanics of the Far Cry games. Um, I don't know. I. I'm not excited about that story. So. Who knows? What? Oh, you haven't done this one yet? I thought we did this. We, I did this one already. I already I got the gem from him. I don't know what that is, so I was just doing it. Yeah, it, it was. It's training. It taught you how to do all the different jumps and glides. So we've done that one. I don't know where to go. It was definitely remastered. Re re remaster. Hey, chat. This game is too old. This game only came out this year, last year, end of last year. Um, how many gems do we need to go to the next level, next world? Because we don't have enough, and we gotta remember. I could Google it, but I would like chat to just tell us. What's Insomniac working on nowadays? Well, the big thing we got working on is Stormland, coming this year. Go to the, just do the flying one. Oh, is that this? Uh, no. no. It's uh, it's where she is. Go to where she is inside. Not no. I saw something shiny at the. Uh, inside there, yeah, to the left. No, up it up no, no, up the stairs to the left. Up to the stairs to the left. It's amazing how we like get to different areas so fast. Who the fairies? You need all the talismans to get to the next world. Yeah. So I guess we got to get Ocean Speedway Talisman? I don't remember. I thought we got all the other Talismans. But I don't like flying levels. You know that. Thank you for taking the time to answer questions. Have a great day. You too, Star Wars. But you know we're not going anywhere. Burbank's coming back. Do the uh, do those first. What do we think about the Fortnite event with Marshmallow? I think it's cool. That's so cool. I don't even know who Marshmallow is. Marshmallow is an EDM artist, and he did a virtual. Now do that. No, no. Uh, yeah, do those. Do those. Do those. Virtual concert in Fortnite. No, I know what he did. I don't know who Marshmallow is. I think he better off alone is his song. I think. Or I still don't know. You're not. You're not never gonna. Off alone. You're What's never gonna tell me anything that I've heard of. So the boats are the hardest part because you gotta get close to the water, but not too close. Seconds. You got 13 seconds. Chill. I'm just trying to help you out. No, that doesn't help me out. Is that two more? No, two more. Just do the speedway cars. I think it's easier if you go backwards. Yeah, you're right. Oh, no. <sighs> do it again. I think you can go rings, arches, cars, boats, I think. I could be wrong. Probably right. The speedways don't have talismans. So yeah, so what level did we miss? I thought we got all the talismans. You know you can do that flip in the air. The thing doesn't It does if you're trying to whip it back around like that one. No. Keep going. No no, there's more around the other side. That's oh. okay. Maybe we don't do arches second, maybe we do cars second. Yeah. Whatever, as long as you're doing something, you'll still get time. Oh, no! I did bump over so much to start over. Yeah, I hate the flying sections, I'm not good at them. Now they added dragons. Uh, we got about four more minutes uh, before Burbank comes on. Don't, don't forget, Burbank's gonna be on for another hour and a half. So, don't go anywhere. Oh, you had the right idea, though, Thomas. Go straight into the tunnel, backwards, around the racetrack. Oh! Fudge. Fudge! Uh, 
much. Four more minutes. Four more minutes until Burbank comes on. I just said that. Maybe... I was not a fan of these. Yeah, I wasn't either. I'm giving you my support with host Insomniac. Thank you. Thank you. But we're going to be... Turn, we're going to... Between us and Burbank, there'll be a slight disconnect. Like, we'll disconnect, Burbank will connect. Uh, and then we will be back. So, don't go anywhere. We'll be here. You gotta get that flame out. Flame out. Flame on. Yeah, I think this is a bad idea. I'll be going through this. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> It's like trying to run up an escalator. Oh wait, why don't I just do this? You can. That is one way to do it. But need oh, you can fly. Boom. That was probably the thing you're supposed to do. Yeah, I get like super speed or something. Come on, I'm doing it. We're definitely not going to beat this right now, but. No, we got two more minutes of seeing you try. My first experience with Spyro was really glitchy PS2 one I didn't get back into the series until I bought the original three on PSN and then that's when I really got into Spyro. Well, that's... That's what's up. Yeah, that's what's up. Speed... Oh, God. Speedway. God. God. Super Speedway. You got two more. One more. One more. All right, now fly. Just do the boats. You're already here. Boats and rows. I think who did this the other day? I think they're playing Spyro One, and James did one of them in the first try. But that's probably because James plays a lot of Spyro. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's just cut to the couch because we are gonna. Throw it to Burbank. Uh, don't go anywhere. Oh, let me turn that off. They'll be back after these messages. There might not be a messages. This is Burbank. I'm eating a bagel with peanut butter. Why are you using the Mixer account? Oh, you used all the accounts. This is Burbank. They don't even say this is Corey, this is Justin or James. But who, the, city. the question is, who would be eating a bagel with peanut butter? Is it a Thomas's bagel? Is it a Thomas's bagel? Anyway, we got to sign off. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Burbank's coming right back. Um, Bye. You're awesome. I'm trying to find my button. Peace.